Hey everybody, welcome to Market Mornings brought to you by WealthBuildersHQ.com. My name is Robert Roy and this update is for Thursday, December 8th, 2022. As we get started here, keep in mind everything we look at is for educational purposes. Nothing's meant to be advice or recommendations. And if you like what you see, make sure you subscribe to the various social platforms out there. Pick up on all the latest and greatest content we put out there day in and day out. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in. We have got a handful of candidates today that I want to take a look at. First and foremost, though, if we go and look at uh, economic reports today, and I had it open and I closed it down. <laughs> Let me bring it back over here. We've got unemployment at 8.30 today. So about a half an hour, <clears throat> excuse me, give or take from where I'm doing this recording, just shy of 8 a.m. Eastern. Uh, we've got unemployment claims coming up today. Not a huge report right, it is expected from it. Not that it's not important, but it's not a big move is expected from it. It's really going to be what happens over the next couple of days with CPI and PPI. When we look at the futures, we are, for the most part, green. Uh, the the S&P is up uh, 13, the Dow is up 87, the NASDAQ's up 41, RUT's up 6, Bitcoin is up 40, 16.7, almost 16.8, Ethereum's up about 8.5, gold's the only thing that's down, $1.00. Uh, and then crude is up $1.86 to 73 and jingle. All right. So let's go take a look at our candidates and see what we can find for today. So the very first one on our docket is Sienna, C-I-E-N. Right. And let me bring this zoomed in a little bit. Now, here's the thing you need to know about Sienna. Right. They are monthly options only, but they expire in eight days. So uh, I'm OK with this one with a very short term option. As long as you can find what you're looking for, strike prices and so forth, we're good to go. All right, so we are looking at Sienna came out with earnings. Big move is the other reason it's on our list. It's probably the yep biggest one of everybody today. They were up about seven bucks, seven thirty right now to fifty and a half. So it was definitely an elevator move today. Boom, boom, boom through three fib lines there today. All right, so we're going to look at a bull put spread below fifty. The only bad thing with this is there. I'm seeing it now. There are only five dollar increments on here. So, eh, see if you can get enough premium. If it fits your risk profile, you go for it, baby. All right, then we've got Sienna. I'm sorry, CRM. A lot of news lately on Salesforce, people leaving, all kinds of concerns. Uh, they got downgraded today. I didn't, it wasn't anybody that was big. I think it was Barclays or somebody downgraded them. Uh, but C, uh, CRM right now is sitting, they're down another dollar today to 129.35. You can see what's happened in the last couple of weeks. You can see what happened in the last couple of months for them. Right, if we kind of scrunch down there, there we go. Right, let me pull this out just a little bit. I've got a channel pattern set up on here. So they're sitting at 129 and change right now. So uh, we're still above this 129 level. So 29 to 43 is about 14 points. So we're going to split this level in half, right, and put a fibbit in there as needed by the rules. There we go. So we're gonna look at a bear call spread above 137. Next, Hoishi. I haven't seen them in the, in the news in a while. They got an upgrade today from uh, UBS. So they are sitting right now at uh, 239, up two and a half on Hershey. All right, so 239. So we're gonna look at a bull put spread below 234, which is this fib line right here. Netflix, subscribers going up, shows hitting great numbers. They had this brand new show my daughter texted us on two nights ago uh, called uh, Wednesday, which is from the Adams Family, the daughter, I guess, from the Adams Family. And it has now become their number three. It's only out two weeks, I think they said. It is now their number three ever highest streamed viewed production ever so they are just they're firing on all eight cylinders or 12 cylinders whatever it is for them right so um they are uh doing fantastical let me get them here i don't have them i don't know why i missed it uh so i have 2047 cents to 311 right now all right so we've got 306 so bull put spread below 305 Whoop, let me Make sure I can read it. 305 uh, is what we're looking for. Tesla. All right. Layoffs coming. Cutbacks and hours coming. Production. Um, not, be, not meeting their expectations with some of their numbers. 
So they're already in a bit of a tailspin uh, to the downside. Tesla, she is. They're down $3.20 to 172 right now. So we're going to look at a, let's see, 66 to 84, 76, 86, 18 points. We don't need a fibbit in there. All right, so we're going to look at a bear call spread above 184. All right, and then last and certainly not least is ExxonMobil. Right, ExxonMobil, uh, there's spending going on on some new projects which are deemed to be very profitable projects that they're looking at. So they're up $1.75 on that news today, uh, which puts them about 105 and a half. So we get away from, right now we're in a bearish bias. To get out of bearish, we need to be above 105.75. Well, guess what? The good news? Yeah, there's good news, but it's not good enough to drive the stock to me into, yes, we're moving in that bullish territory with where, what the pattern looks like. So it is time to say next, All right? So with that, make it a profitable day. Stay focused on the quest to becoming a great trader. Keep crushing it. And remember, you're just one trade away. Take care, everybody. I will see you tomorrow to wrap up the week. Bye for now.